Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Lady D. This will be my video on the solar eclipse that is happening on the 14th of the 10th at 9.56 a.m. That's um, for me, my time here in Sydney. I'm just making this video while I'm at the MBS in Sydney as well. So if you are doing anything on the weekend, you'll look for something, something to do. Uh, you can come down here to um, the IACC here in Sydney because um, they, they start, they finish very late. So I'm making this video now while I have the time quickly. So I know when I get home tonight, I'm going to be very tired and um may not have the time or energy to make the video now so just bear with me and i've got the little microphones i'm hoping that the sound is good is good quality here all right with this eclipse so with this eclipse um it is going to be a bit close to mercury and to the moon as well more close to mercury than the moon um so it could be you know it could be thinking about thinking about stuff and communication but we've also got at the same time it's going to be squaring pluto this could bring about um, more sort of war or trouble aspect or could be about an ending or bring things to a, a complete end as well. Um, sort of eclipses bring things to the forefront or to the to the front here and it, was, it activates something in your chart as well. But we have it squaring with Pluto, which can make it a little bit of intense, a little bit, um, as I said, like an ending or even could be like to be like a war, could be a little bit of like a war, I have a feeling of war and geez, even though we're going through a lot in the Middle East, we might find some more tensions that are coming up too with different things. Um, it's also it's also going to be opposing the North Node and to Chiron as well. So we might be having a little bit like um, like wounding or like victim mentality or like bringing up wounds that haven't been healed or thing or issues that have been causing you a bit distress. But also it could be um, having to like face things through like life path and your destiny and where you're going, where you want to go, what you want to do. It could even be you're thinking about these things as well coming up to activate with this eclipse. Two, what I've got coming down, I do have changing up of energy, could be a bit of aggression that's coming up, needing to be right. Um, this could be the aspect of that with because we've got the North Node and Chiron in Aries. I've got here about strategy, so thinking about strategy, kind of like chess playing in pieces here. Um, it could be like word vomit, like saying things that you know, you're not meant, to, not, not meant to say, but things coming out, not the, not the great way. I don't really feel like it's going to be a time of peace. I mean, you know we want to want peace because we are in the Libra and it's all about peacemaking and uh, making things nice and not not having conflicts. But I don't feel like we're going to find or, you know, find that it's going to be a time of negotiating or diplomacy. Um, might not be a time of that uh, just because of the oppositions that we do have with it. And then it might be a ruffling a few feathers with this eclipse too with the energies that are coming out with it as well that are coming in. We do have a bit of a saving grace though at the same time. We do have a try with Venus and Jupiter. So that's luck um, with relationships and money and finances as well in your own personal life. We've also got a try with Mars and Saturn, so giving us, still giving us the strength to push through any problems that we have. We've also got, there's a try also that's happening with Uranus and Pluto too, which is also unexpected change that can be about unexpected endings, unexpected change. That, that Pluto is like the phoenix. So even though when I say there could be endings, it's like it's something about starting again. Pluto's like it's death and transformation. So it's dealing with endings, but then we're starting again and coming back from the flame. So, um, I mean, I don't mind Pluto as a planet in my transits, in my chart, where it's been. Uh, I've been able to handle, you know, handle things and at sometimes, you know, it's been okay. But I have a friend who doesn't like Pluto because where it's been in her chart and her transits for her, it's caused her um, a little bit of little little bit of issues, which have been different to mine because we're just where my planets sit. So everyone sees the planets differently. But I just feel like it is going to be emotionally. Um, it, it could be it could be bringing up intense emotions, but I feel like it's we want it to be peace. We want we want freedom. We want peace. We want things to just be nice but it may not have that effect on us um we've also got on the 12th we've got mars has entered into scorpio too so with mars in scorpio people who do have mars in scorpio i always say don't make these people angry because it's like um as i had a friend she's got her mars in scorpio and she said yeah i don't get mad i get even um they also you also find people with mars in scorpio might be a little bit vindictive or um just like cunning when they get angry so you don't make them angry 
as well. So it could be a sense of, you know, hidden agendas, um, people being motivated but not showing their motivation and some sort of secrecy with that, but also looking at what's hidden or what's what's beneath, um, but also with their anger. It's like not so much getting angry but getting even or, or even revengeful um, as we're sort of seeing around the world with certain things that are coming up too. Um, but also, you know, but it also is going to be a motivator to get things done. Um, it is a, it is more of a motivating energy. So it's not like we're in Libra where it's like nice and calm. Scorpio has a stinger, has a sting. So, you know, you might find that you might feel a bit more motivated and a bit more recharged as Scorpio is the old ruler, um, also rules Mars here too. So, We've also got coming up this week ahead, as I said, we do have the try with Venus and the Jupiter, which is going to be good. So they're all week. I've checked that out. We've also got the trial week here with the Uranus and Pluto, which is going to be unexpected change, but it's good. Remember, trials are good. So these unexpected shifts that are going to come in that are unexpected, it can be a good thing. Um, and then you've got the try also with the Mars and Saturn, which is also a good uh, helping us, giving that motivation, helping us to be more resilient and to push through any issues that are going to come up. Um, and then we've got on the 17th, we've got uh, Mercury that's going to try Saturn, which is going to be good. So again, any problems come up, we're going to be able to talk our way out of any issues that come up and problems that come in our way. We're probably going to be able to get smooth things over as well with problems that are going to come up, which is going to be quite positive. We do have on the 16th though, we do have a square with Pluto with Mercury so this could be about to an ending of uh, maybe friendships or ends of communication in some way or again like a phoenix of some some change big change happening here big transformation happening with some sort of communication as well when I've got coming up for this week I've got avoiding real issues got about staying strong um Okay, uh, uh, avoiding tick for tack, and this is where the Mars and Scorpio may come in, like tit tit for tack. So don't don't try and be revengeful. Don't try because someone's saying to you like you're trying to get something for them, or you know you do this to me, so I'm going to do this to you. It's like try not to av avoid that, um, but staying focused. Um, be careful on the road. For some of the last time I got, be careful on the roads. So just be careful when you're driving um, on the roads. And I got here, show up, um, be professional in areas. So everything that you got going on this week, be determined, be there, be professional, be present. So that that's going to be really helping you out this week um, in what's coming up ahead. I will do a quickly few cards this week for you. Um, and then I also will try and also do a channel where I am. This video is going to be with a quick one. I'm going to try and make it quick. Um, let me just put some cards down quickly for the eclipse. Okay. All right, what I've got coming up here, I do feel like there's a sense of a journey coming up ahead with Eclipse. It's setting our path up to a new journey where we're going. There's also feeling a lot of protected um, divine guidance that are here. We're looking at realistic things. We're seeing what's more realistic now. We're not We're not going to be faced by anything that's delusional, things that are not going to be real in our lives. We want to make sure it's going to be realistic that's coming in here as well. We're looking. At, we're trying to look at being freedom. There's a sense of being wanting to be free, looking at freedom, looking at being like sensible, not wanting to make a mistake, not being being too judgmental but also wanting that just to be free we just want to be free and having things ahead and it's almost like we're trying to look at our higher selves a higher purpose there's a lot of things coming up here that i feel like it's going to be about your destiny on your path where you're going reassessing things what doesn't serve you anymore and it's i feel like we're looking at to do with um, not only relationship but professional i feel like there's a lot of stuff's coming up here about professional about your work um where you want to take things done but it's also about your nurturing we want to nurture what's close to us whether that be a relationship or your job or whatever like close to you and then people around you whether you have pets like for me I'm seeing my cat so like a pet like one of my, my cats here and also intuitive in your intuition is I feel like it's going to be heightened as well there's going to be a sense of who you can trust who's on your side who you can trust and it even might be that you might feel um, like questioning things that I feel like coming up but it's about like nurturing uh, as well too um, there is a sense of uh, uh, here like papa playing here manipulation but someone here wanting to give you a hand a helping hand but in saying that it's like they're mysterious so 
it could be mysterious. I feel like a Scorpio energy, like mysterious characters may be coming up. That's why I'm saying, like, know who you can trust and who you are. Like, you can you can feel it. You'll be able to feel a pull towards certain people. But it doesn't feel right. Or if they're manipulating you, it's maybe time to close that door. That person that could be coming up. This is what I feel like this eclipse may be coming up and exposing um, with you this week um, that's coming up too and it's got to be an exchange of energy too so when you do something for someone else there is something about looking at exchange i do feel like try to make it positive try to i just have like it's, it's i get like renegotiate but i just feel like it's going to be hard because being diplomatic is, is going to be hard and try to write things and maybe write things out too when after the eclipse you get things done but it's got to be if you like people maybe taking for granted there needs to be some sort of exchange of energy that's coming up here as well um too i'm just going to try and get a bit of a channel here for this eclipse too just see if i can get a channel this eclipse is going to bring about the people on the brighter side of life. It's going to see where your destiny is going to set ahead of you. And it's going to be clear. Your full destiny is taking charge. And you're going to see it bright and clear in front of you where you are going and where you are stepping into. For your world is changing and you are all changing. You are all evolving and you are all loving one another. But some of you are changing and evolving more than others. For the ones who are going fast and who are evolving are going to see their true purpose in life. For the people who are still dwelling down in their own superstitions their own negativity and what's what's not good for them and their own victimhood these are the people that are going to struggle with this eclipse that are coming out they're going to fall flat and they will not see their purpose for the others who see the truth who are able to see both sides of the story they will uncover the truth they will also go further with this eclipse say Stay true to yourself, stay strong and stay positive for the positive stuff will shine through and you'll see that any of the lies and manipulation that come out in the media and that are coming out people around you and you will all see the light and it will all come to a head. Okay, so now I'm just going to do, um, I'm just going to do two cards. I'll do, I'm just getting a lot of noise here. Okay, I'm just going to do, do three cards. Okay, I'll do three cards. Card at number one, which is this card here. For you, this card here this week, it is going to be about neg um, it's about negativity, but also being, I say this card's being creative, but not being negative. Look for the signs around you, whether it be numbers or there's certain signs. They're going to lead you through this week into where you are heading. I feel like you're really uh, trying to uh, negotiating things too. You're coming up with new ideas. You're being quite creative. You've got help on your side. So I feel like there's help on your side with your guides or you've got a friend. There's someone here on your side this week that is really trying to help you a lot okay card number two which is this card here with this card here you're worrying too much you're worrying about what's coming up around you you're not looking at what's in front of you you need to look what's in front um there is some good things that are going to come in you're it's kind of like you're worrying over nothing over nothing a little bit and you're very like stressed and, and there's a lot of tension here but there's going to be help there's going to there's a lighter part here in the card which means that to me that i'm just seeing now noticing that it's like there's some help coming in there's a lot of energy coming in and it's going to help you to push you through this week okay so just hold on tight with this card card number three which is this card here with this card here there's got to be a balance for you this week you need to hold a balance in there needs to be like um, two sides to every story you need to look at both sides before making your right decision um, if you will make the right decision there is some positive and like glory someone's taking all the glory here as well um, so someone's going to be taking all the, the good stuff of the glory but it is about being positive and not so much being on the negative. You might be feeling a bit deflated, but we need to get to that positive side of life too by the end of the week as well, which I feel like you will get. You'll see some, um, you'll feel the energy lighter for you for like by Wednesday as well with this card. Okay, so I'm at the M um, MBS here in Sydney, ICC, Darling Harbour. So I've been here yesterday, Thursday, I'm here Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So it's a big four days um, here. Ten, it happens at 10. It doesn't finish till 7 p.m. at night time. So I say, I get, so I get home quite late because I just drive, I drive back home. Um, so if you've got something to do on the weekend, please come down and say hi. I'm available for readings, but on the weekend I do get booked up quite uh, fast. I mean, it does get quite hectic. Um, and next week I'll be in Canberra for a three-day workshop. And then after that, I'm at the Hunter Valley for a fair on a Sunday as well. And I'm still doing readings at the Crystal Shop, which I'm there on the Wednesday, Thursday, um, Wednesday and Thursday this week. Okay. All right. So, guys, that's a bit of a short video. 
but I'm gonna go because it's getting louder here. So thank you for your likes, shares, and your comments, and I'll see you for my next video. So happy eclipse, and I hope you all take care. So bye for now.